Hello and welcome to my introduction tutorial into Overleaf. Overleaf is an online LaTeX editor and it's the most widely used one in the scientific community because it's very easy to use. And it has the advantage that you can work on your projects wherever you are, at work, at home, at your tablet, whatever you like. And it has the additional benefit that you can share your project and work with others together on one project. And you start either here by registering manually or you use your Google account or your ORCID ID, whatever you like. Once you are registered, you enter this welcome page where you see the titles of your different projects. You see actually who owns them. So it's not always you, it's also sometimes your collaborators. And you can also see when was the project the last time updated or modified and you also see by whom this was done. And if you want to make a new project, you go on to new project. There you can choose between different templates, for example, for academic journals. You can use uh, templates for letters or even posters and they all have the different designs. For now, we want to start with a blank project here. You type in your name and then you press create and after some seconds, there you go. Once you started your new project, the screen looks like this. You have here on the center the area where you type in all your LaTeX commands and this will be directly translated into this PDF site on the right. You can also switch a little bit if you if you prefer having a larger or smaller PDF, depending on your screen. And if you type in here something and press compile, this will directly appear here in your PDF. On the screen, we have several options. For example, we have the review panel over here and that's used to communicate with other collaborators on your project. For example, if there's something in your project you want to talk about, you can directly add a comment here. And then everybody will see that you maybe ask the questions or did some remarks on that specific line. And this can be quite useful. And once you have resolved that problem, you can press resolve and then it will disappear. You can also share your project as already mentioned. You just type in the email of the person you want to share with, then they will get a link and they will be able to collaborate with you on this project. You have to press recompile to make the next step because you also can submit this directly to a journal. For example, here you can choose what kind of academic journal you want to publish it for, and they will receive directly the entire text and the PDFs. There's also the history button. There you see different versions of this file. Here you see already some things I've already done while you haven't been watching. And there's also the chat option where you can type in messages for your collaborators just by to talking about things. If you go over here on menu, then you have some more options. For example, you have the download section where you can either download the source code to compile the program manually on your computer or you can use the PDF download button, which does the same thing as this button over here does. And uh, more important stuff is that you can sync your Overleaf project with Dropbox or with GitHub. And here the compiler will be at one point maybe important to you because you can choose with which compiler do you want to use to compile your project. And I usually stick with PDF LaTeX because that's what gives the best options for me. 
if you know actually you want to start coding then you can write stuff in here for example you can add an image therefore you have to add your LaTeX code for that also don't forget to import the packages you need for that and then we want to implement a picture of a fish here of course we first have to upload that picture somewhere here in overleaf and that's via this button you simply press upload then you go to your image and then you just drag it into this button here and as soon as it's uploaded you can simply press compile and then it should appear and as we see there's this little clownfish down here and now you have this rudimentary first impression of you of overleaf now you can go here and press download pdf then the pdf file will be downloaded directly to your computer and that's so far everything you need to know about overleaf of course you need all the latex skills to actually work with it but it's just an environment that you can use which has lots of benefits which is mainly that it's always available and that you can work on one project with different people.